Hey, 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 Scotch Test Dummies, I'm Scott. We're both excited. Bard! Two Armenian whiskeys, a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old called Highland. Woo, high is the same word for being Armenian. We, so. we may not be pronouncing it right, but we're going to. It's got to be. Tested World Whiskey Style, baby. The first Armenian whiskey Woo for us style. First. First and second. Yeah, first and second. So, Raphael, who says he is Armenian, I'm not sure if he lives in Armenia, but let's just assume he does, uh, said that they've, they're have they no, normally known for, what, wine and brandy, I think. Yes. All right. That's what you read from yes. the email. Sorry, I was just trying to play it off there, but yeah, yeah. he said in an email, <laughs> they're normally known for wine and brandy. But these are single malts. There are Armenian single malts, and I think the play on words high hyphen land, highland, um, high, assuming that is the pronunciation, also means Armenian. So we've poured the 12 year old in the Glen Karen looking glass, and in the little whiskey snifter, we have the 15 year old, right? Um, They're both 43% ABV, both. Single malt whiskey. Yes, yeah, this one says small batch. And you said Raphael noted that they're aged in brand ex brandy casks. I th think so. Yes, if I read that out, I was reading, and I don't even pay attention to what I say half the time. It does say Armenian. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, th at least the fifteen-year-old is aged in Armenian oak yep. casks. That's and what brandy, this says too. Brandy barrel finish. Okay, this one says American. See, that's me being American. Armenian oak barrel is what it says, and then uh, a minimum of 12 years in Armenian oak casts and brandy barrel finished. And then it says the oak wood and grains used. That's the part that does get me, the oak wood and grains. I don't know, that's the part used to craft the spirit are both naturally sourced from the fertile soils of the Caucasus Mountains. The resulting whiskey has a smooth and balanced taste, and then it gets into some tasting notes there. So, I did try these when they arrived, so they were sent by Raphael via a uh, spirits company, so thank you, it's our first time trying some Armenian. Yeah. Whiskey, um, our whiskey. Light, it's a light nose, I'm, I'm struggling for notes myself here, but little little inflammation today from COVID, getting a lot better. Okay, he's got lingering COVID effects. But I do get just a, just a light whiskey nose here, light citrus, mm -hmm. and light whiskey. That's what I was gonna say, I get a, I get a, a citrus note, with little hints of honey. Okay. And then I almost get like a floral touch in there as well. Do you get any kind of floral? Um, Just a touch. Yeah. And so it's citrus, light honey, vanilla, and a floral note. Quick, nose, it, it quick nosy crisp. note here. Oh. I forget where I was at or someone had commented about when you nose, have your mouth open. Yeah, actually. We do that. And I commented back, I said, generally, I do it with my mouth closed I'll and open yes. and both nostrils. Yes. So hit both nostrils, hit the left, hit the right, yeah. open the mouth, do it again. I will see what's having the mouth open usually prevents me from getting that burn in the nose a little bit. I don't yeah. know why, but sometimes those vapors must get stuck in the sinuses or something. And if you have a higher ABV whiskey, blow it, just giving a slight puff into the yeah. glass. He puffs it. And it brings the uh, whiskey notes out to you. I don't think I've got the sensitive puffer that you do. Yeah. You do <laughs> overdo it. You're like, I'm an over puffer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't, it's just a. It's like, no, no, you're. You don't even have, you should even more know huffing. this you're doing. You're more huff. No, it's a puff. It's Actually, a, that's kind of even helping with this. Really? 43. Uh, <laughs> malt. That brought out some of the malt characteristics. I still lemon. get some fruit here. Yeah, lemon and fruit. Yep. Citrus. Hmm. Yeah. It's do we interesting want to on that nose note. the 15 or do you just want to go ahead and taste uh, let's this? Let's taste then... this one and then nose the 15. Okay. I see what you're saying now. That's nice up front. Yeah. I get a little uh, sweet vanillas all over the front of it. This is the 12 year old. Yeah. Nice lemon, citrus, lemongrass. Mm -hmm. Citrus, vanilla, cream, even on cream, the cream, yeah, malty, and then 
it's uh, not astringent up front, but I get an astringent dryness in the finish. Good. There's a little bit of a, um, like a, a, a milk mm. on the finish. Okay. Of it's just a milky cream or kind of a. Yeah. I kind of was thinking marshmallow. Um, but it's weird that the astringency, the drier part of this, then my mouth gets a little dry in the finish, but I, I don't pick up an astringency in the forefront or in the middle. 43%, very nice, neat. I don't want to add a drop of water. Let's do. Okay, that's a good call. Just see what happens. Now, I'm not an expert at, at all on Armenia, but I know during the Cold War, it was behind the Iron Curtain. And I think I'd even read a little bit. I was... I've been reading up on the Reformation because I'm a nerd. <laughs> okay, I've got a board game called Here I Stand, and I read this tome on the Reformation, and I remembered or something in there was that they had a heavy Christian uh, influence in Armenia, but it was also protected by Russia or the Soviet Union in general because they liked that buffer between some of the wars they had had with some of the Islamic countries. Hmm. So. That being said, I'm only bringing that up because a lot of the Islamic countries, uh, whiskey or alcohol is frowned upon, not so by the Christian ones. Just saying. Monks are known to kind of drink whiskey. <laughs> mm -hmm. a, a drop of water didn't hurt. It actually kind of brought out a um, like a wood... That's Log. exactly what I was going to I was going to say like a, a wood reed, almost like a reed from a, an instrument or something. It felt like this light bambooish oak Yeah, is what I got. Yeah. Yeah. And that is, I did not have that on huh. the taste before. That's no. funny. As soon as you said that, I was thinking, <laughs> I, in my head, I'm thinking wood. And then there you go. And I'm like, yes. Yeah. That's interesting. Let me cleanse the it palate. Is, yeah, it is almost like bit. a musical instrument, like a reed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not that I've ever even, when I was in fifth grade, my mom did a sign recorder. me up for band. Oh, okay. And I can't remember, did I play clarinet? Maybe? I don't know. I'm no, no, um, no, the <laughs> tuba, French horn, uh, uh, trombone, trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. That's what there I you played. Go. There you I can't go. remember. Gosh, that's been a You're long good. time ago. You're good. I was I, like, what, what, what did I try? That was not no a wood reed. No. My sister. My sister played a clarinet. clarinet. There you go. She, she would, would have, have the yeah, wood a lot of metal things on there. She's all over there. I don't. I think, played nothing. I don't think I ever sucked on one after her. Uh, I'm just putting that, that out sentence there. is troubling in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> in many ways, that's a troublesome sentence. I never played anything. My folks kept mentioning how it would be good. My dad played the trombone, and I still have his trombone. I even went and took it when he passed. I don't know why I grabbed it and I went and had a um, musical instrument place, kind of clean it all up and get it ready to play, and I would never play it. So I was, in, I'm, I'm impressed with that twelve-year-old. Yeah, that's uh, good. So that was interesting, and I would say nice. it has opened up a little bit from when I first tried it. Mm. It was the first one I tried because it has this cool presentation with mm -hmm. this wood block on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> screw, it's Square a screw ball. cap. I noticed yeah. I was trying to pull screw, it. Right, yeah. screw cap, wood block. Which is looks fancier yes. than the 15-year-old, which is just Yeah, it looks word. way fancier, but that is why I tried it first, because it had, and the squareness matches up with the squareness of the bottle. Maltiness really up front. Yeah, I don't get any, as fresh, much of the sweet. Fresh Monet, and really, oh, there's a little bit of a uh, astringent tangy i almost say like marmalade kind sour, of sour not yeah. sour just tangy tart fruit yeah uh for some reason the word marmalade but you're kind of right it's not sweet though it's almost like a cranberry how it smells but you know it's going to be tart if yeah. that makes okay. sense i don't know the nose here, I don't get as much of a of of that effervescence that I get off of the twelve year old. I don't know what you mean by effervescence. Yeah, I'm getting a little yeah, bit more. Effervescence may be the wrong word. That's kind of like it climbs up and just. I'm getting more off of the fifteen than I did the twelve, which really? would be expected. See, I don't. You should get more off of an older whiskey on the nose. 
more more malty, more kind of that tart. I get the malt. Maybe a I dank, get the tart. Like a okay. a dank basement, dank warehouse. Okay. Okay, I can see it like you're going down in the cellar. Yeah. But I don't get a lot of wood influence nose, which is what I kind of thought. So, but I'll let you. Yeah. It's weird. It's a tart, fruity marmalade with a slightly cellar kind of humidity. <laughs> I got peanut butter right up front. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't know that it's there, but something as soon as I took a sip just reminded, made me think peanut butter. Mm. Peanuts, maybe. Spanish mm. peanuts. Now, Salted citrus. I, this one is so much more rich mm -hmm. for me. Not, I, yeah. I, what is it? I get a very nice honey, like a thick honey, not overly sweet. With a vanilla, mm, all the way through. Tart, a little bit of tropical fruit in there. Some of that tangy fruitness coming out. Vanillas, vanilla cream, similar to the 12. More finish, longer finish here. More um, of those oak tannins mm. grabbing on to your palate and refusing to let go. Yeah. Compared yeah. to the 12. Right. The 12 didn't have much of a finish at all. This is a lingering um, mouth coating vanilla honey. I do get a little bit of a lemongrass finish. Um, it feels, the mouth feel alone is thicker, more coating than the 12. I don't know if the only difference is are that the 15 has been in for three more years. It feels like there's something else going on. Well, well obviously it could be a different barrel finish or could something. Could be the, well, the brandy. This one is brandy finished. I don't uh, know if the 12 year old was. The 15 um, does say Yeah, this one had finished. brandy barrel finished as well. Um, but really it kind of, maybe that's bringing in some of that tropical or the, the tangy tartness. Other than that, it really just feels like it's ex bourbon cask or just oak cask. Well, not I wouldn't even say virgin oak because it hasn't picked up that much influence for 15 years, unless it's really, really cold there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but I just, I just got a little bit of glue. Really? A little bit of acetone hmm. with water after the water. Got it. I need to add a little water. I, I'm still loving yeah. the vanilla honey finish there. It's really it's nice. Like you're in the wood shop and just glued some. Some boards together. Hmm. Common note glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If somebody thinks that's weird, no, uh, no. glue does show itself once yeah. in a while. Hmm. That was a simultaneous. It process. was. It was. Well, I've added the water. I haven't tasted yet. Let her do a little mixing around, a little blending around here. A drop of water smoothed this one out. Hmm. I still get, there's a lot more honey vanilla sweetness on this finish than on the on the 12. Let me try the I, 12 though again. I feel like Winnie the Pooh, who's reached up and grabbed mm. that honey, like that, that bee yeah. um, honeycomb or whatever, sure. is taking a bite. Right. I buy this for my mom. She buys, it's this creamed honey. Mm. Creamed honey. Creamed honey. And I don't know what makes it creamed, really? but it's just, it's creamed. Wow. It's good. Okay. That's I've it. never had creamed, creamed honey. honey. I would imagine a little bit of cream put in there. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's not refrigerated. Well, okay. What do you think it would have to be? Yeah. Um, I still get some peanut. Do you get any peanut? I'm still, maybe it's just because it's on my mind now, but I'm still. I don't know. I, I just some. tried the 12. Um, I would say the other difference I get is the 12 still has a little bit of that astringency in the finish. And I do not get that on the 15. Maybe that's why it lends the 15 lens to our longer finish. Let me try. I didn't get peanut. I like the 12 with water. I don't like the 15 with water. I like the 15 mm. meat. And I got, I'm still getting a little bit of the glue now that came out too when, once I added the water. 
Hmm. Not actual glue. Right, it's right. just a glue. Well, I know all the old shows you would see, I guess glue used to, I don't know what they put in it, but every once in a while you'd have a kid in the 50s that would eat glue. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess after Elmer's came out, it no longer tasted good. I don't know what they used to use, but remember um, those old, there would be some kid and, you know, hey, Jimmy, quit eating the glue. Yeah, they did. They, I think they started adding something to it so kids wouldn't, wouldn't eat, it, eat it. Or it wouldn't be as palatable. Yeah, it's like, that doesn't taste good. I was not a glue eater, but uh, I'm not saying that I haven't had some good smelling glues now. <laughs> All right, I put in, a, uh, um, I wanted to go back to it not being watered down, although it tasted good with a drop of water. The 15-year-old? Mm -hmm. I like. I, I liked it better neat than I did with water. All right, the 15-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if, I mean, not saying this would be surprising, um, they're both good, but I like the 15-year-old better primarily for that vanilla honey finish. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can get some peanut butter on the front or nut. Hmm. I still don't. I think I get a little bit more of a wood influence here than I do on the 12 year old, which would again make sense. So before we score though, how cool is it that You've got all these, I'm looking for more and more countries that are doing mm -hmm. their whiskeys, especially if they're known for their wine and their brandy. I think in the little part of the hemisphere they're on, they're a little bit further south is my understanding than what, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of like, they're kind of in line, I thought, with like Greece and things that kind of run more towards the south of Europe, the southern part. But I'm not 100% sure either. I know, well... Pretty sure they're not as far north as like Germany, but who knows? Neither of us. I don't even think I've ever, no, I've never even been in Europe. Our trip to uh, Glasgow uh, and uh, and Ireland are the only parts of. Oh, well, that's Europe, isn't it? Or the Europe, yeah, it's the European, European area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's as close, but I've never been on the mainland. Would love to go. So, would love to go. So, your thoughts. I'll let you. I'm ready to score. You got yours? Right. Um, um, I, I would say 88 on this one, 89 here. Uh, you're going a little bit higher than me. I'm starting okay. at the 80, 85, 87. Mm. So good. I, I'm impressed with them. I like them. I like them. I like the honeys and I like, again, this is just me, that there's not a lot of wood influence here. They seem, seem cleaner, crisper. Um, I enjoy them. And thank you to Raphael mm -hmm. for sending them. He's like, hey, I'd now, like you guys to try. Right after Raphael sent these to us, um, I was out whiskey shopping, and I'm in a store here in Wichita, and I see this Highland 12. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, $40 for the 12. The 15, mm -hmm. I don't know. So that wasn't yeah. on there with the 12. Just the 12 was in the store. Yes. $40. 40. And I'd never seen it before or heard about it. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, hey, Raphael sending us this Highland Armenian whiskey, and I'm out, and there's, I'm like, that's the first time I've ever seen it. There I is. will admit when It's that, worth it. It's but definitely but, worth it. But before you... Oh, before it was poetic. worth it. Yes. <laughs> well, what was 40, weird yes. Here. was when I tried them at first, when they showed up at the house, um, the 12 I didn't like as much, and then I tried the 15, and was like, wow, I really love this. I was actually a little surprised. I haven't had this for two weeks. And I remembered the 12 being a little bit lower. I thought it would be a little lower mm -hmm. on the scale. Mm -hmm. I was surprised to pick up some of those citrus notes. So having had a few off of it and then letting it open up, I think definitely helped that one out. Because this one fell a little flat when I first tried it. The 15 was like, whoa, that was really good. And they definitely came in closer to each other. So They're, they're Armenian whiskeys. We haven't had any. Um, they... they uh, exceeded my expectations for him. Did very good. I like it. I'd Way to go, Armenia. Way to go. Yep. Go to scotchtestdummies.com and quick shout out to Raphael. Thank you. Thank you, Raphael. Uh, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up our coins, our glasses, mm -hmm. shirts, hats, dropper sets, you gotta get new stuff coins. on there. Help support the show. You can also uh, go to Patreon when fans aren't sending us lovely whiskey. We use our Patreon funds to go purchase and our fans help keep us allowed to do that. That was a terrible sentence. Our hand, fans help us out. 
Yeah, our fans help keep us able to do it. Bingo. What he said. Perfect every time. Scotch it, you Scotch guy. Solange. Dummies. Dummies.